uh, down here on Portage Street in Kalamazoo. Going to take a little look uh, at a uh, a closed street that has been used for the children to paint on. I'll be right back. Now, see, years ago, down here to the right, this used to be the big Bryant paper mill, Bryant Street. This is a huge paper mill back in the day. There was railroad uh, trussles running right along the street right here. And they could actually back trains up in there to, uh, to fill up with the paper products. And they closed Bryant Street. Pretty cool. And they've turned this in to a place that youth can come and express themselves with paint. Be right back. Just this past summer, some uh, real stupid, ignorant individuals came in here and burned out, poured paint all over this thing, went in and turfed it. You can see they laid rubber. Here's still some of the, the black uh, marks from that Pase traction right there. Since then, the city has installed these little barriers right here. And the artists have come back in and have touched it up and repainted it. Here's Foursquare. I don't know about y'all, but we used to play this in elementary school. It's kind of fun, like kickball and all the rest. But the kids came in here and, uh, and helped with this whole project right here. And there's a little bit of something from everybody here in the in the neighborhood. Five characters of a mammal. An animal with hair or fur, an animal that is warm-blooded, drinks milk as an infant, an animal, as Popeye would call them, an animal with um, with sweat and mammary glands. That's so that you can remember the mammary glands. Has lungs and needs air to breathe. Yes, sir. Look at the, the monarch butterfly. Reminds me of, uh, of uh, a movie. Yes. Yes, sir. Look at these beautiful... Papillon? Comment vous zépoulez-vous, le papillon? Oui. Look at the mechanic. Okay. What's on the menu? See, this goes to show you how the kids, they're being taught the, the, the right ways. This is really so cool. Look at the, uh, what's on the menu? Both chefs. A black chef and a white chef working together. See, that's what this was all about. Black owned businesses. Take a hike. And there is. This has all been turned into a nature preserve and trail. Back there is part of the VA and other services, the county. Um, Laboratories are there and so forth. Um, I go in there four times a year and see the VA. And I go to Battle Creek several times a year to the main VA. And, and uh, I do all that there too. There's trails back here that are, are, are maintained on the other side of this little area right here. It's really cool. We'll step up into this a second. I don't think we're going to be trespassing. And right here's one of the trails. And over here on the other side, this walks all around this whole property. You can see where there's a nice uh, um, little park back here with lots of things for, for kids to play on. Uh, I see a lot of little trails back in here you can see. Over here there you can hear the little river running through. It's a little Creek. Very nice. Okay. To please excuse my shadow, just the angle of the dangle. 
symbols of unity. Pyramid, pointed star, north star. Acorn, lotus flower, a circle. When is your birthday? This is really cool, huh? Let's skate. Let's go to the library. And here's the little Edison neighborhood mural. There's Albert White, very famous here in the Edison neighborhood. Take care of where we live. Look at all the little kids' handprints down here on the bottom. Keep our neighborhood safe and clean. Absolutely. There's the little river that's right behind us here. That was the, en the Illinois Envelope Building right there. I used to sell to them. They were one of my customers back in the day. I think you've heard me go on about the hundreds of millions of envelopes. Literally hundreds of millions of envelopes produced in that building right there. All right. Edison is a beautiful place to live. You know, it it's had its issues. It's projects like this that are bringing uh, all that to light and making a whole lot better day of it. The city has also got a hold of things and and they really are doing some things here in the Edison neighborhood that are all positive and good. We just seen that fire there. I did a video of a little earlier today. That was in the Edison neighborhood. Um, you see somebody has come along here and installed a little settle in a free book box. These are all around. Uh, you can buy these and install them on your own private property. And then you just stock them with nice little books and things. And people can, can come and take them, uh, free of charge, of course. And if you want to leave a book, leave one. Uh, right here on the side. Little free library. Original model. And that's what it is, a little free library. Not far from here is the Washington Square Library. Kalamazoo Public Library, a good friend of mine is the head librarian there. And uh, I know he and his wife and the kids. And uh, man, you go in there and check that out. It is a beautiful little facility. Uh, all brick. Oh, at least 100 years old, if not older. I think it's one of the oldest libraries in the state of Michigan. Yep. Not for, it's walking distance from here, actually. Not far away. But here you go. The Bryant Street uh, mural. Back resurrected from it being desecrated here this summer. Mural artist and designer, Maya Sophia Ananda James. Organized by the Kalamazoo Literacy Council. Very nice. All right. Well, that being said, please have a great day. It says right here the road ends. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This is where it begins. This is where it begins. And no way the road ends right here. Don't even think that way. Nope. It isn't going to happen because you're being a welcome the Literacy Lane. Walk the stem. Yeah. Keep up the great work, kids. And stay away from this kind of debauchery. This is where you want to be. Have a great day.